an elderly woman saved three wolf cubs from uninvited guests. You won't believe how they thanked her. In a quiet village on the outskirts of a Russian forest, an elderly woman named Annika was living out the golden years of her life. Her children and grandchildren had all moved to different parts of the country, but she was content with her simple life. She knew her neighbors, her postmen, and all of the local shop owners. One of those shop owners was Sergei Ivanov, who ran the green grocer around the corner. Annika had been shopping there for 25 years when Sergei's father, Andre, was still alive. Andre was a good friend of Annika's husband, Mikhail, and they had passed away in the same week, both from heart attacks. Because of this, Sergei now insisted on delivering her order each week. Early every Monday morning, she would wake up to a gentle knock on the door, but by the time she made her way to the door and opened it, Sergei would already be rolling away on his bicycle, waving her goodbye. On the doorstep would be a neat box of fruit and vegetables with a smiley face drawn on the side. The best part of Annika's week was opening up the box on her countertop and packing it away. Sergei would always give her a few extra pieces and she looked forward to the surprise. Annika loved to cook for her family and friends, but over the past few years she had lost contact with most of them. Now she only cooked for herself, and sometimes the house felt too quiet. One day she decided to invite Sergei over from the grocer so that he could taste for himself exactly what she was making with his ingredients. Late that Sunday night, she left a note on the doorstep inviting him to dinner. The next morning, she heard the knock and arrived at the door just like always. As she looked down at the doorstep where the box of vegetables were, she saw that Sergei had left a response underneath her message. It read, I'd love to. How about Thursday at 6 p.m.? Annika looked to the pavement and saw that Sergei was still there, waiting on his bike. She gave him a big thumbs up and they both smiled before saying their goodbyes. That Thursday, she spent all day in the kitchen. She made spaghetti bolognese with the tomatoes, onions, and carrots from their store, just like Sergei's father used to make it. Over dinner, Sergei told Annika how he went up to their family farm each weekend to pick up all of the fresh produce, and to his surprise, Annika told him that she had been there many times with his father. They finished the night with a big apple pie, and by the time Sergei was ready to leave, they were both full of food and laughter. Annika waved goodbye, and once again the house fell into silence. The next Monday morning, there was nothing out of the ordinary. She heard Sergei's gentle knock, made her way down the creaking stairs, and opened the door to find another box. But this time, she was in for a big surprise. As she lifted the box onto the counter, she noticed that it was a little heavier than usual. In fact, it was much heavier. And she didn't think much of it until she peeled the tape off and opened it up. The box was a mess. There were shredded tomatoes and carrots everywhere, and even the box was damaged. As she turned her gaze to the other side of the box, she understood why. Huddled in a corner were three small puppies. Annika stepped back with a fright and had to catch her breath. When she gathered herself and peered inside the box again, they were still there. My gosh, what do we have here? She said in disbelief. Slowly opening the box, the puppies cautiously crept up to her hands and began to lick her fingers. Annika laughed as their tongues tickled her and could now see they weren't ordinary puppies. They had long, bushy tails and very dark fur. She had only seen these kinds of dogs in movies. She put the box down on the floor and the three travelers slowly emerged. At first, they were shy and shivering, but once Annika brought them a blanket, some water and food, they began to trust her. Annika wanted to call Sergei, but couldn't find his number on the new phone she had just bought. She decided that it could wait until the following week when Sergei would return for his next delivery. In the meantime, Annika found some blankets for the dogs to sleep on. But as much as she tried to make a comfortable bed for them, they only seemed interested in following their new friend. Reluctantly, Annika eventually let them sleep on the bed. Over the next six days, she started to get used to having the dogs around. She didn't have any fresh vegetables, but she used leftovers, canned goods, and meat from her freezer to cook her meals. And to her surprise, she soon found herself cooking for the three puppies too. By the time Monday morning came around, they didn't want to leave Annika out of their sight, even for a moment. Then, as the sun was still rising, came the familiar knock on her door. This time, Annika was beaten to the door by her little refugees, but she wasn't far behind. 
She opened the door and caught Sergei just as he was about to leave. Sergei, come in here for a minute. You'll never guess what happened. As he walked up the front steps into the house, he was greeted by the three new residents. Sergei was speechless. Where did you get these from? He asked curiously. Annika replied, You tell me, Sergei. They were in your vegetable box last week. Sergei's face turned from confusion to reflection, and he soon realized what had happened. To Annika's surprise, Sergei told her that they weren't puppies at all. They were wolf cubs. He explained to her that a family of wolves had been living in the barn on their family farm, but some days after the mother had given birth, he heard a hunter in the distance shooting and came to learn that the man had killed the wolf. Sergei had been looking for the cubs but couldn't find them anywhere. They must have somehow snuck into your box before I sealed it. I'm so sorry, Sergei apologized profusely, but Annika assured him it was okay, and when he offered to take them back to the farm, she said, you know what, I think they're beginning to grow on me. One night, after about six months, Annika had a knock on the door. She was finishing up her dinner and wasn't expecting anyone. But then again, she had been forgetful recently, so maybe she had invited someone over and forgotten about it. But as she got up, the three wolf cubs softly growled at the door. Every time Sergei had visited her for the past few months, they weren't disturbed at all. But this time, something was different. Annika looked through the peephole and saw two men looking around anxiously. Then the men started to try to open the door. She could hear the keyhole jiggling and the door frame shaking. She jumped back and ran to her phone on the kitchen table to call the police. The door was beginning to come loose and she knew she didn't have much time. The phone rang, an operator picked up and Annika barely had time to share her address before the door came tumbling down. The two men ran inside the house and toward her she picked up a knife from her countertop, but one of the attackers knocked it from her hand. Then, just when she felt most vulnerable, the man let out a scream and dropped to the floor. He looked behind him, and there were the three cubs who had bitten his ankle. He rolled around on the floor and his partner froze in terror before fleeing out the door. Luckily for Annika, that was the moment the police arrived. It didn't take long for two officers to take the man into custody. It turned out that the criminals had been targeting elderly women and robbing their houses. But not this time. The police told Annika that she was lucky to have such protective dogs. Yes, they are very good dogs, Annika replied, preferring to keep the fact that they were wolves a secret. They had saved her life, and the least she could do was try to give them a good meal. The next day, she made all of the wolves spaghetti bolognese. What did you think of this story? Please let us know in the comments section down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.